Welcome back World Cup fans, knockout stage football is finally upon us. Every continent represented in the round of 16, a true World Cup knockout stage. And the round outer Thomas Muller will meet his ultimate test against Brazil. Can he keep up the chase for the golden boots with Smolov, Messi and co in tow? When the hosts stay home, the show must go on, but when the tournament organisers remain, it enhances an already carnival atmosphere. Russia are in the knockout stage for the first time alongside Iran. Unless, of course, we count the Soviet Union years of 1986 1966. We kick off the knockout stage with Russia hosting Iran. And it's Kaczynski who flirts with Berevan with the martial arts kick. Kaczynski back to Golovin. Steps over with the defender. Smolov is trickling his way through. And Russia will profit from a scrappy goal. Fyodor Smolov grabs his fifth goal of the tournament. Russian roars all around the Sochi Stadium. Comes off the elbows of Parali Ganji. And I'm sure Iran would favour a penalty kick now. There's a chance that Baron Van saves it, but nonetheless, the goal stands. 1 0 to the hosts. Jeremy drills it in at the last second, and Jahan Bash hits the post and the face of Akinfaya. And the Jagger tries to chip it over the keeper on the turn. An almost urgent reply was in order for Iran. Kaczynski's shot is blocked. Smolinov brings it back down to Kaczynski for a second try. As it was rising. Here is Samidov. Cruyff turn. And looks down to Samidov. And it is Cherishev. At this rate, Russia will be looking at a goal every 10 minutes. His best star man, Denis Cherishev. And Russia already throwing the name in the hat. A potential quarter-final with either France or Australia. Here is Golovin. Heavy touch lets him down. De Jagger goes down. Here is Fernandez. No mercy shown by the Russians. Golovin. And he has to retreat back to Kaczynski. They're ignoring De Jagger, clutching the knee. A surprise there isn't a riot on the field of play. But Ashkan De Jagger. Seemingly cannot continue. Hyper extended knee. He's done. Vahid Emiri will take his place. There's the substitute Emiri. Yahan Bash. Hopefully providing around the answers they're looking for. They look to him. One of the most impressive players of the tournament. As Moon with the cross here to Yahan Bash. And again, he finds the goalpost. Ramin staying on the ball here. And Usman, he hits the post too. Iran are experiencing a first hand curse here in Sochi. Draw down the line. Yan Bash backwards to Sada Usman, who again hits the frame of the goal. Drilled in by Samadov. And Berevan pushes away. Inashevich's initial header recovers on the second. Moon holding up play for Yahambash. And there's a cross. Whistles past everybody. There's a Tahali is the one who fails. Azmoon. Ramin. Shujai to Ezra Tahali. And there is Tarami. Pulls the goal back for Iran. We are going to have a competitive 20 minutes. The Persian stars put in performances in their first two group games and brought the pain to Spain. We expected more for them, but it's not too late. It's brought down by Elevator, Yahambash. Tarabi has brought it under control. Russia on a back foot, Tarabi. Yahambash knocks it back, and it is Shojai, the captain of Iran. Game on here in Sochi. Iran have already made World Cup history by reaching this stage, but they are not done yet. They've wiped the smile of those Russian red faces. Will it be another night of vodka induced despair for the Kremlin? Is the World Cup party over before it's even began? 
Nashevich. In an advanced position for the Russians. Berenvan punches with both hands. He stops on through! Smolov to Smovera! He's placing a pillar over the Iranian faces! Russia rejuvenated! Five minutes left of normal time! And they've stolen a goal! Five minutes until extra time. Iran are on the bubble. As Moon has released to Abby. And here it comes. God knows she sends it through Akinfayev's legs, but he's saved by the heel. What a chance. Almost 3 3. And for the first time since the Soviet Union in 66, Russia are in the World Cup quarter finals. Tremendous achievement for Iran, but it all ends here for them. It is Russia 3, Iran 2. Two years ago, France were the runners up in their own European Championship. 20 years after lifting the World Cup, Didier Deschamps will now hope to manage France and their golden generation to another. Iceland, the smallest nation in the tournament, still making the history by reaching the knockout stages of the Grand Tournament for the first time. Olivier Giroud on the one-man pilgrimage. Sigurdsson with a strike and it's followed through to Finn Bogerson. The Icelandic enigma with four goals to his name. If he doesn't already have a statue in his honour, he would have had an entire town named after him if he scored that goal. Conte, Giroud back to Conte. Griezmann, Luis Hernandez, Olivier Giroud, and he gets sandwiched between two of the Icelandic players. And then Gasson is going to be the man who's penalised for the fateful blow to Olivier Giroud in the penalty area. And then there's a penalty kick to France, which Griezmann has denied initially by Hunt Dawson. When he makes amends in a split second, France take the lead over Iceland, just as he did two years ago in Paris at Euro 2016. Credits to Hal Dawson for going the right way. Can't do much about the follow-up. Conte. Griezmann drills it through to Mbappe. Who has tucked it in with about as much effort as a blink. France have basically ended the first half with a goal. Began the second half with a second. And I fail to see any reason why they should be worried now. Good far. Seeking out Shabu over the top and he tries to take it over the top of Hal Dawson's scalp. Was he inspired by Hernandez's love against Olsen in the previous round? And he's still in the possession of Finn Bogerson. He shares it with Halfredson. It's now or never for Iceland. They need a goal back. Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson unleashes his best strike on Loris. Iceland feel the blues, the blues go through. A fun World Cup fairy tale for the Scandinavians, but it's all over here. Onwards and upwards for that young man, Kylian Mbappe. As France have defeated Iceland two goals to nil. We are in Dulusniki, the venue of the World Cup final for arguably the first. Big World Cup knockout stage fixture. Portugal take on Uruguay. Even though Uruguay have two World Championships, it's fair to say both of these teams are underachievers in the decade since. Cristiano Ronaldo yet to get his first goal at these World Cup finals, while Andre Silva almost gets a fourth. Valle has been defeated by Laxal, but Martinho has his back. Here's Ronaldo. Where there's Ronaldo slapped out the sky by Muslera. Vecino. Laxaltz took the pass from Vecino, took a gamble in the casino. They are approaching the 20 minute mark, no goals between these two mammoth sides. Sanchez, the deflection is scouted by Patricio. Look at this, comes off the boot. Of Fonte followed up by the fast reactions of Patricio. First corner of the game. Ronaldo! He gets the first goal of the World Cup of 2018. The living legend scores in every World Cup he's featured in now. 
Portugal's Prince pings it off the forehead. It goes over the head of Maslera and it kisses the crossbar on the way down. Just barely crossing the line. Luis Suarez, Manolo's Barcelona rival, Cavani! El Matador has bulldozed Uruguay's way back into the game. Nine times out of ten, the keeper soaks these balls up, but Cavani's just a tick faster than Patricia. 1-1 here in the Lushniki. Vecino. Oh, he's put it through to Luis Suarez. And that's an uncharacteristic miss from him. What a chance to take the lead. It's Portugal to the second corner. And Jose Fonte is the man who licks the stamp and sends it off for a submission to face either Argentina or Australia in the quarterfinals. There's a long way to go yet in this game, but yet again, Portugal from the corner. They are devastating from set pieces. Here is Vecino. Has to slam on the brakes, but he's made an exception for Bentanka. There's a deep cross, nodded back in by Sanchez. Cavani boots it over the line. Patricia, if he wants to keep his extremities, he lets it go past him. What a reply from Uruguay. Cavani the cat patrolling the knights of the Portuguese goal line. Surely the last kick of the first half by Bentanka, and it was nearly a wonder goal. Here's Ronaldo. Andre Silva with a give and go, immediate to the captain. Sanchez. Now Cavani and Suarez have to combine here. Cavani! Oh, and he's found a way through, it's 2-2. Five minutes, no, six minutes now, into the second half, and Uruguay Ain't about to make Portugal forget them that easily. Ronaldo Silva. Slows our play ever so slightly. Guedes has rolled it underneath Maslera. And Portugal retain the lead. Five minutes after the response for Cavani. A six goal for the Lushniki. Barely an hour play the football here. What a thrilling game. We have on our hands the FIFA World Cup is brewing. Aguedes has put a chance through to Andre Silva. But it's clapped by Maslava. Blacks out sent a dangerous one forward to Cavani. And now the Portuguese defenders are getting mixed up here. Cavani looking for Sanchez, but he leaves it. Sanchez has found Suarez! Uruguay finally go in front of the Seleccion, the European champions are losing in the World Cup knockout stages and Luis Suarez knocks Cristiano Ronaldo in the eye and says I remember you. Andre Silva wasting no time at all to fight Ronaldo. Kept up by Maslow. Oh my god it's crossed the line. What is going on here in Lushniki? What is going on in the venue of the World Cup final? It is Gwyneth again. How does that go over the line? Where the hell was the danger? What was Maslera trying to do in this situation? The goals are coming on an average of seven minutes. Suarez, Batanka has drifted on through. And he has beaten Patricio. You're going to store order, but for how long? How long can either team hold on to a lead when one team scores? The other one instantaneously replies. Everyone in attendance is being given the thrill of their lives. Ronaldo Silva, that is a good pass to Ronaldo who tried to square it into the danger zone. Martinho! Whoa, he pulls a pin on the grenade and the goal is blown wide open via the top corner. What a hit! What a wild ride these two countries on two corners of the other take this on. Cross is denied by Pepe. Sanchez on the volley. It isn't 2002 anymore. Long wall brought into touch by Cavani. He's waiting for the rest of the way. Shows to catch up. It's Juwan and then he steals the winning goal. Two minutes before full time. 
And for the first time, we will witness extra time. Two years ago, Portugal found themselves in many of these situations, but it's Portugal 5, Uruguay 5. Extra time is alive. 30 more minutes of furious play. It's been a 10 goal thriller so far. Fernandez into the center towards Charisma. Laxalt seeking out Cavani at the far post. Sanchez collects one more chance for Uruguay. And Torreira takes the East strike from distance. It's a comfortable save. Probably the first one of, of Patricio's game tonight. Pepe is brought it down to Andre Silva again. He had the golden kiss. Oh, Portugal's World Cup on the seat. Six goals to Uruguay's five. The best finish of Andre Silva's career. The most important goal of his life, surely. There will be a minimum of two minutes. And I'll check out the composure of Charisma here. As he is marching on through, and he nearly makes it a seven. Here comes Giovanni. Godin in the advanced position now. Oh, my God. May Cavani enjoy the honour of the hat-trick and the match ball. For the last time, he will touch one of those in this World Cup. Cristiano Ronaldo sails through. Probably one of the greatest games in World Cup history. Portugal, six. Uruguay, five. With Portugal booking their place in the quarter-finals, it's down to this prospect of the old gunslingers of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo facing down in that quarter-final stage. If Argentina can make it past the Socceroos, Australia. Opportunity for the king himself, Lionel Messi, from the set-piece. Well, thankfully for Australia, it was close, but no cigar. Benega. Messi has turned and just run like there's no tomorrow. Is that kind of brilliance Australia had better fear? Shumano has found Lionel Messi again. Nice shuffle. Look at Messi go! And he stinks the palms of Ryan. First corner of the game to Argentina. Otamendi. He slipped the crossbar. Marcus right hard. Away we go. Yes, Argentina. It's taken a long time, but just as far as experience that frustration against the smaller teams in Iceland, Argentina are figuring it out as well. Just as it was against Nigeria, it's another scrappy goal. It's hardly clinical, but it counts. Here is Cruz and Australia hoping to catch Argentina on a bad foot in this time. It's a direct hit on Amani. Juric. Lecky inside and he's trying to slot it into the palms of rather the feet of Cruz but Juric will have to make do. Oh, Messi's pronged it through to Perez and this time in again scouts it off the line it's what Muslera failed to do against Portugal Juric gets a bit of fortune here and Rodgers has got him on Amani and nearly Equalises and stuns the world. So Rodjic, Dijuric, and now Nabut has carried on and it's going to be Andrew Nabut with a stunning goal against one of the World Cup favourites. Plays this football for the Urama Red Diamonds, but it's a diamond equaliser against the Alba Celeste. Argentina being punished for their lack of creativity in the 70 minutes beforehand. Messi, David Benega. And that is the golden pass to Messi, but it's a good save on Ryan. Higuain can't follow up with a decent cross here to the danger zone. Tagliafica, Benega. 10 minutes for the kill. Messi, put himself enough time and space with a kiss on the goal post. That is surely the kiss of death for Australia. Ten minutes remaining and Lionel Messi has just turned himself goal number five of a potential match winner. Ronaldo and Co surely watching on for his potential World Cup moment. Well there it is secured. It's going to be 
Ronaldo versus Messi in the World Cup quarterfinals at this stage of their career as they take a dive. Symbolic of the submersion of the Australians. Goal number six for Lionel Messi. Argentina's magic midget with a disappearing act on the Australian competitiveness of their World Cup odyssey. It is all over. Argentina and Portugal will meet for the first time in the Messi and Ronaldo era. It is Argentina three, Australia one. It's the encounter of the dark horses. The underdogs, Serbia and Sweden, have turned a couple of heads. Serbia reached the knockout stages for the first time in a fairly young history. And anybody who's familiar with this channel know that Sweden are capable of putting off surprises. Here is Mitrovic teaching Sweden the cha-cha slide. Unfortunately, he can't slide into the DM of Olsen's goal. Rukovina has found himself in dangerous territory. Kostic thumps ahead, and Mitrovic fails on the follow-up. Tadic is broken through here. Never good save by Olsen. Never sleep on this goalkeeper. One of the most agile in the tournament. That's his first. After three balls, Katabe. Ivanovic now here is Berg on the turn. What a way to get the second half on the road. Marcus Berg with what could prove to be another crucial contribution. Maybe an ageing Swedish side, but they'll be damned if they're not going to prove that age is just a number. This craft is broken on through here. Could be a double on the card for Sweden. It's across the face of goal of Forsberg. It's just thrown away the easiest goal scoring opportunity you'll ever get at a World Cup. Think of it, Savage is found with Donovic. Here's Mitrovic, one on one with Olsen, and he goes to the wrong side of him. Makes it even easier for Olsen to push it out for that corner kick. There's a corner to Serbia. Unmarked Milinkovic Savic. He's forced Olsen to tip it over the bar. Donjic might have the time to get a cross in. It's a heavy one. Sweden having trouble getting rid of it. Tadic fits it through to Serbia. Milinkovic Savic. Now, Kovic takes too long to get the ball out from under his feet. And it's a fantastic recovery from, you guessed it, Olsen. Well, Sweden have bounced back from the Mexico defeat in style. It's a shame to see Serbia shoot off. But the Scandinavians move on to face either Belgium or Senegal. It is Serbia nil, Sweden won. It's Senegal's second ever World Cup and they've reached the knockout stages once again. And just like in 2002, Senegal are the only African representative in the knockout stages. And this time they take on tournament favourites Belgium. Hazard picking out De Bruyne over the top. Zabali intercepts and finds his own net, but the referee on the touchline restores the backup for Senegal. Hazard, that's where he loves to be. Cussing in from the left hand side. Lukaku fails to make sure it wasn't in vain. Sent into the mixer by De Bruyne. Ah! And then Dai tips it over. Niang doesn't back down for Witzel. Here's Balde. He's trying his damnedest to hold the play up for Niang. He's one on one. And it's wide of the Courtois base. What a thrilling start that could have been for Senegal. Here's Gay. Sadio Mane going from distance. It has the power. He couldn't keep it down. Volley, that's a perfect pass! Ishmael Assar. It's his turn to be denied. Surprisingly, a goal this first half. But what can Belgium offer up in the second here? Hazard takes it into touch. He thumps it at Ndaye. Chadley. Lukaku is wiped out. It's as if Salif Sane wanted an excuse for violence. He's trying to break the leg of Lukaku from behind. Shambolic tackle. He then has out to put Belgium one up. Nil nil it remains, he's missed the penalty. De Bruyne has picked it up. On the Belgian flank is into the centre of it. Oh, it's the one who beats everyone to it. Scored the opening goal for the Red Devils against Panama 
on match day one and the opening goal for Belgium in their first knockout stage fixture. Just when the pressure was becoming too much to bear. Senegal find a way to bounce back into the game. Here is Sarko. Back with Sabalde. He goes straight by himself. Never chance going begging for Senegal. Balde's corner. Mane tries to rearrange the front room furniture of Senegal. It's another narrow 1-0 victory against African opposition here at the World Cup. Senegal go home. Belgium will face Sweden. It is Belgium 1, Senegal 0. In spite of the great World Cup history between these two countries, it's only the third ever meeting between Germany and Brazil. Arguably the biggest game of the second round. And now the Selle Shell has revenge on their mind. Four years ago, Brazil were mutilated in their own semi-final at the hands of the Germans. Muller. Ozil throws, takes it into touch, hits the post, and Werner follows up. And in just three minutes, Germany have reopened Brazil's old wounds. It's exactly what Brazil were hoping to avoid here in St. Petersburg. Germany forever showing the potential to start fast. And whenever they do, they rarely lose. Here is Neymar. That's a good pass to Paulinho. He shares it with William. William has nothing but woodwork. Muller. That's on the plate to Ansel, and Alisson is off the line quickly. And Ansel is offside. An opening on the wing for Neymar. Floats it in towards Paulinho. Is scouted by Neuer. And that's off the line to the team of Werner. There's a cross that found in the marks, Marco Voice. And it's a chance that Alisson has some agency over this time. Jesus. Coutinho knocks it onto Paulinho. It's brushed aside by Neuer. But it was strong enough. Almost goal number eight for the round out. It's put through by Royce to Werner. Germany take a two goal lead. Having a five time world champions, Brazil. And the defending ones are doing just that. They're wrapping their arms tightly around the World Cup trophy. Top corner team up. Goal number three for Werner. Werner stays down, Germany ignore him and carry on. And Brazil are begging the Mannschaft to kick the ball out of play. No chance. Here it is. Until has fallen it through. And it counts. 3-0 up before half time. It's 2014 all over again for Brazil. Sloppy shambolic defending. Muller was chasing this in, but there's no need. The damage is done. In with the corner. Paulinho has earned a retrial. William sent it in again. And Coutinho tries to catch Neuer off the line. He's too tall to be lobbed. Paulinho's cut inside. Heads for a bit of a heavy touch. And obviously a heavy shot. William. Across the fitting goal and it's Firmino. And that'll make Emil Forsberg feel much better about his miss from a similar position. It's Hector's cross. Ertzil with the worst volley in the history of the World Cup. Germany looking for a fourth to kill. Brazil once and for all. Mario Gomez can't bring himself to shoot. At this point, Brazil just searching for a consolation now. It's all over for them now. Casemiro still can't beat Manuel Neuer. But world champions have booked their spots in the quarterfinals where either England or Japan await. Brazil don't go out with a bang but a whimper. The World Cup humiliation of Germany resumes. It is Germany 3, Brazil 0. The closest England will get to a sentence with the word final in it is one where England are in the final round of 16 fixture. They take on a very impressive Japan side who have never reached the quarterfinals. 
Last corner of the game, already pushed away by Karashima. Lingard! The overcompensation from the young Jesse. Now it's her first time, spoons it white. Blow for blow so far. Sakai. Shibasaki. That was a powerful hit. But thankfully for Pickford, this off target. Kane. It's a down for Sterling, and now he has the pace to break on through. And he runs into a brick wall known as Kawashima. Kane has threaded it through to his Tottenham teammate. Danny Alley off the crossbar, and Kane has his one cleared off the line, too. What a dramatic combination. Two goal scoring opportunities denied by Japan. Ashley Young is just letting Sakai jog through. And it's a conversion! Well, you get a Sarko, but it's not going to count. He's offside. And England will get another go. Oguchi, Shibasaki, Sarko. Now here's an opening for him. Strong stop from Pickford. GPA is linked up with Deli Alley. Tottenham represents here, but it's Henderson, and they found a way through. England have taken the lead. Just over an hour played against Japan. Liverpool's Champions League runner-up, Jordan Henderson, has answered England's prayer with a good-looking finish on the left peg. Kawashima stretches as far as his bones will allow. Sterling and Kane combining, and here's the explosion of Raheem Sterling once again. It's low and hard at Kawashima. The Samurais remain in it for now. Kane is pinging forward to Rashford. It's back across the face of goal off the cheek with a furious header. Just over 10 minutes left to play here. Can England hold on? No need, they've extended the lead. And it's all good. It's Marcus Rashford who finally gets his dream World Cup goal, the match winner against Japan to set them up on a date with Deutschland. The acrobatics, well earned. Now, is it coming home? Or in Germany's case, staying home? England sets up a quarter-final fixture with their old enemy, Germany. Now we have a World Cup. It's Japan nil, England two. And now the quarterfinals are confirmed. Hosts Russia will host France. Sweden challenge Belgium. Ronaldo versus Messi in Portugal versus Argentina. And the old rivals, Germany, take on England. The round out to Thomas Muller holding on to the golden boot for his dear life as Fyodor Smolov and Lionel Messi are sniffing. That shoe shaped trophy, Edison Cavani's large contribution was his fifth goal, and Andre Silva is emerging. You are now permitted to make your predictions for the World Cup semi finals. Which quarter final are you looking forward to the most? And let's have a good old fashioned best goal, best player, and best game of the round of 16 in the comments below. Ronaldo and Messi finally meet on the world stage. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the quarters.